Hi everyone, uh, just a quick run through of the processing I did on my most recent image, NGC6559, um, or should I say that's one area of the, uh, the part that I imaged. Um, now this is next to um, M8, the Lagoon Nebula, if I just bring up, uh, let me just bring this up here, make it a bit bigger. Um, so this is the area here. And if I just zoom in, so we're all familiar with the Lagoon Nebula here and uh, the Trifid or Trifid Nebula. But it's this piece over here that I imaged, kind of looks like some stumpy fingers or a paw or something. I always thought, think it looks like just sort of hanging off the end of the Lagoon Nebula. And um, it's this area here which is called NGC 6559, which is a rich star forming area. But there are all these other areas here. And... Uh, wanted to image this because it, it's a little bit like the Trifid Nebula. It has a mixture of uh, hydrogen alpha emission nebula, some blue reflection nebula, and also some very dark dust, um, So, which is this bit here, which is also known as the um, Chinese Dragon Nebula. Now, I didn't have a lot of time on this because we do have a, a ton of bad weather coming through at the moment. <laughs> And right in the middle of what's called a tidal stream. It's coming down from the tropics and it's just ripping down the country. And um, currently the sky has cleared a bit, but we've had torrential rain and uh, it's been ongoing. So this was only about six and a half hours worth of um, acquisition or total integration. And I wanted to get more HA uh, to add to it, but I only got 25 minutes, which is absolutely minimal. But I thought, well, I might as well include it because it was still picking up some nice detail in the emission nebula part. Um, this is what I got. This is the green um, channel. So this uh, basically has had a DBE applied, uh, dynamic background extraction applied, uh, some noise exterminator, and then I manually stretched it with a histogram. I didn't use the screen transfer function or the easy processing soft suite because I didn't quite like the results that were coming through so I um, I just manually stretched it and got it to this point. Uh, this was the blue same thing again. Now you'll notice there's some uh, dark areas in the corner here and this is um, partly to do with the fact that unfortunately when I was imaging this originally with the blue filter my Antlia filter that I had received was actually for the blue was actually faulty and I was getting on the flat, so I was getting these sort of weird curvy lines down here, which when I rotated the filter just rotated with it, so it showed it was on the filter. Um, also the stars in this area had little wings coming off them, so there was some sort of distortion going on. Anyway, that's been resolved. I contacted Antlia, they were really good. They sent me out a new blue filter. I put that in and uh, sent the, the faulty one back. And um, the new one was fine, but it meant that when I took the camera off and the filter wheel, etc., and put the new filter in, my orientation was not 100%. So I did lose a bit because I had to crop away um, quite a bit to accommodate this new positioning of the blue filter. And I've ended up with some dark areas in the corner again, which I'm going to have to uh, crop and which the flats didn't seem to deal with. Uh, this is the luminance, and to be honest with you, I didn't really use um, the luminance, I think, in the end. Uh, so in fact, my integration time now, I come to think of it, it's probably slightly, slightly shorter than six and a half hours, because I ended up using the combination of the HA and the red as my luminance. Now, here's the red to this point here. So I had some really nice detail down here in NGC 6559, uh, which is the where the star forming area is. And if we just zoom in you can you can see there's some some nice sort of detail in there and in this area here as well. And of course the dragon showing up quite nicely. But the HA uh, also uh, contributed quite a bit to the emission nebula component. So I did the, the usual thing that you often do with galaxies to pull out the HA and I um, I might I'll take that away and I just did the extract HA as we do and you get these horrible um, dark lines here. So this is using pixel math using uh, this formula here and there's a, a, a Q factor here which you vary. It creates these dark areas around the stars but don't worry when you use the pixel math um, 
where are we to uh, the NHA one here um, that doesn't come through so you don't have to worry about that so that was the the extract HA version which I then through pixel math added it to the red if we've got the red uh, red one here and as you can see as I just jump forward through here you can see it just really does pop and brings the the that makes it a bit richer in the red areas which is quite nice and <clears throat> yeah that was just changing the image identifier what else did I do a little bit more and then I went ahead and stretched it so uh, through to this point here and then it was a matter of combining them uh, just using the LRGB combination uh, tool here so this is the version here with the I hadn't applied the SCNR tool to take away the green but we just uh, flip forward and you can see that's applied now and you can see these reflection areas are coming up a bit more blue some of the stars are a bit more blue and we've got some nice golden color showing up with the stars um, I think there is a lot of dust around this area too so that's also affecting the color of the stars from from what I've read then uh, what do we got here uh, then I did star exterminator which removed the stars quite nicely here and then uh, I could go ahead and do a bit more processing on this although to be honest with you I didn't do a hell of a lot more because um, I I didn't feel there was there was a lot more to do in uh, pics inside here and I actually ended up taking this into Photoshop and just sort of tweaking some of the colors a bit more um, making the the reflection nebula look a little bit more um, obvious and uh, but, but increase the color a little bit there's a bit of noise exterminator here I did and um, then the next thing was the luminance which was the HA and red combined and uh, I did some HDR and L, uh, you know um, where are we HDR multi-scale transformation tool here and some local equal, local histogram equalization there and um, a bit of curves just to brighten things about and, and that was kind of about it and then uh, added it to the um, color part here so again using the LRGB combination tool just adding the luminance it did that so not not a lot um, but just sort of sharpened things up it gave a little bit more detail in here if we just move down and have a look we just pop back there it just sort of defines things a little bit better and then I took that into Photoshop basically and um, tweaked the colors a little bit further and also um, just worked a little bit on the stars just um, made them not quite so bright but then did increase the saturation on them to bring out the color a little bit more and as I said I'm adding the stars back in using Photoshop so that's what I did and I showed you in my last video and um, this is basically what I came up with um, here with the stars added and I did quite like the fact that there was the, the you know the blue reflection nebula here came up quite nicely we had a little bit of blue sort of showing up around here and we had some nice blue stars and combination of some golden looking stars and more sort of orangey looking stars and then I trimmed that up a bit more just to sort of because it's really highlighting this area here without all the extra um, background space. Now, just to sort of define things a little bit here, this is what um, uh, Astrobin does if you tell it to do the plate solving, and it can, you know, identify the various components of this this area. So, NGC six five five nine. My understanding is it's really this part here, which is where you got the combination of the hydrogen alpha and the reflection nebula, and it's quite a rich star producing area. IC4685 is the central part, the sort of central pink blob if you like, um, with the Chinese dragon uh, nebula which is the very dark nebula in there blocking out the light and giving the, the dark look. And then this is IC1274, um, this other blob of hydrogen alpha emission and IC4684, a little bit of blue reflection nebula. So yeah, something that um, probably gets a little bit overlooked because there's Lagoon Nebula and the Trifid Nebula nearby but uh, in of itself it's it's actually quite nice it's, as I said it's got those combinations of the reflection uh, nebula here the uh, 
emission nebula and the dark nebula. So um, yeah, worth, worth giving this area an image and um, surprisingly didn't take too much processing to get to this point. Uh, maybe I could have spent a bit more time on it. Certainly could have spent a bit more time on the integration, that's for sure. But uh, I, in the end, I was quite happy with this, this image given that it was, um, now I think of it not using the luminance particularly, it was probably under six hours actually uh, of imaging time. So uh, yeah, consider the the little poor cousin to the lagoon and the trifid nebulas uh, for imaging sometime. And um, if if you uh, enjoyed the video, um, give us a like. That uh, really helps the channel. And also consider subscribing if you haven't done so. And um, I will see you in the next video. But I'll leave you with uh, just a last look at um, this this image.